Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Try hack me. Today we are doing Burp Suite Intruder. Learn how to use Intruder to automate requests in Burp Suite. I hope you guys liked the last video uh, on the repeater. Uh, we're still at the learning path of web, fu web fundamentals path. Okay, let's get right into it. So I already reset Burp Suite Intruder and task one is just introduction, talks about the Intruder tab and we started the machine. So let me, so it's already loaded. So task one complete, pretty easy. Task two, Intruder, what is Intruder? So we can just load this up. Let me try this again under, let's go Burp Suite. Doesn't matter which one, this community edition. Let's just talk about the intruder interface. So apparently it's intruder is a Burp Suite inbuilt fuzzing tool. So the question is, before I forget, as always, I recommend to read through all these tasks because this video is just showing you how to answer your questions, but you need to read through all these tasks to get full understanding what this uh, module is all about. So it says in which section of the options subtab allows you to control what information will be captured in the intruder results? Hint. Four section down in the options subtab, these settings control what information is captured in. Okay, so it talks about the settings, or was it intruder? I believe it's this one, bird sponsor. One, two, three. Okay, let's go to intruder positions, logging options. Okay, getting started. I believe is a uh, option subtab resource pool, positions, payload. Okay, let's try this one right here. Copy clipboard, paste. Let's uh, turn this off, proxy, burp browser. Allow burp's browser to run while sand, sandbag, sandbox. Oops. Sorry about that. Browser, let's see. Here, that guys, you could make a full view. And earning will look bigger. So. Not phone. Let's uh, intercept this. Let's try again. Right click, send to intruder, and it talks about settings. It says fourth down, one, two, three, four. So it's an attack results. Let me try. Yes, it is attack results. In which intruder subtab we can define attack type for our plan attack? Attack type, Let's see. Redirections. Results, attack results, re. 
I believe it's positions, attack type, so it's right here. All right, task three, intruder positions. Switch over, just follow this long sniper. You can input, it's called Silk Crows. Just follow along. And the question is, have a play around with the position, select and make sure you're comfortable with processing, adding, clearing, and I'm only selecting positions. So it's basically messing around with add clear auto. We'll do that in a second. So hit complete, clear all selections, complete. Select the value of a host. And I think you add Yeah, so do the same thing at so it'll look like that. Clear the position, then click auto button again to, to reselect the default position. Your editor should be looking like it did in the first screenshot of the task. So you could clear it and then auto or refresh or not. But you get the same. Oops. It's not a big deal. So task attack types introduction. And it says let's switch positions, sub tab and look in the attack types. Read the attack types introduction. So it's just going over sniper, battering ram, pitchfork, and cluster bomb. The next one, attack type sniper. So we just talk about the sniper attack. Talk about condition. So answer your questions below. If you were using sniper to fuzz three parameters in the request with a word list containing 100 words. How many requests would Burp Suite need to send to complete the attack? Assume it's one set. So one times three parameters and 100. So it's 300 words, I believe. Correct. So single position. One set, single file. Cool. How many sets of payload will Sniper accept conducting an attack? And if you read this last one, it says single, so it's got to be number one. Sniper is good for attacks where we are only attacking a single parameter, A or nay. A. Yeah. All right, task six, attack types, battering ram. So the question is, ask a hypothetical question. I can't say that word. You need to perform a battering ram intruder attack on the example request above. You have a word list of, with two words in it, admin and guest, and the positions in the request template looks like this, user. Okay. Hint, submit your answer user payload, user equal payload and password equal payload. So it's talking about request type. So using this, you just copy and paste. I believe is admin and guess. Or I did not get that right.
see, admin, user, admin, two words. Burp, sweet, sweet. Okay, got it. Well, admin, admin. That's right. This one. For, what would the bodies of parameters of first request that Bert Suite sends to? So the first one's admin. Cool. Task seven, attack types pitchfork. And the question is, what is the maximum number of payloads says we can load into intruder in pitchfork mode? So as you read through this task and it says pitchfork uses one payload per position, maximum 20. Awesome. Task eight, cluster bombs, attack types, cluster bombs. And the question is, we have three payload sets. The first set is 100 lines. The second contains two lines. And the third contains 30 lines. How many requests will intruder making use these payload sets in cluster bomb attack? Hint, multiply the number of lines each payload, to set, payload set together. See how very small numbers can out add up fast so cluster bombs gives you a hint it sounds like it's a lot so basically the hint says multiply everything so 100 times 2 is 200 200 times 30 is uh, 6,000 oops yeah there you go all right task 9 payloads Question is which payload type lets load a list of words into a payload set? I believe is a payload set as you read through. Or not. Simplest. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is. So it's talking about payloads. So it's talking about this one. Which payload type lets load a list of words in a payload set? Uh, yeah. Where did I see that? First item, payload type, simplest, all right here. And the next question is, which payload processing rule could we use to add characters at the end of each payload in the set? Okay. Processing. Source pool. Add characters at the end of each payload. So I believe it's either add prefix or suffix. Prefix. Yeah, suffix. Because you're adding, right? So adding processing payload rule. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. 
task 10 practical exam all right so let's do this this is uh what's the question well we just gotta follow along right so answer your question download and zip this zip file doesn't matter where you do okay and i should read through it there's this link right here so you copy and paste and uh, I like to use Linux command paste all right download it you gotta unzip it right so it's roots home here's a folder right click extract here go back and it says the zip file should contain four to less emails username password combined and it's right here combine there you go all right and it says we'll be using username and password text file list complete it says navigate to this link yours might look different okay clipboard activate bird proxy and try to log in interesting okay so all right let's go to proxy let's all right off all right let's do all right so it wants attacker and password okay doesn't matter what condition you we just need to request so it doesn't matter but we're just going to follow along using attacker and password so all right let's turn this on intercept on bam all right Send the proxy to intruder right clicking to intruder or by using the shortcut control I. Okay, so intruder and looks about the same. Just follow along. It says first we need to tap type to pitch fork. So select the pitch fork. Then let's switch over pitch. Remember guys, gotta put these uh, hyphens. I forgot what you call these. So we're just gonna add that. There you go guys. All right. And it says, let's switch over payloads. We should find two payload sets available. So as you can see, there's a example to follow along. So I believe it's payload. There's one simple list and you load it and that's a zip file. So the first one is username. Then the second one is password. Yeah, there you go. Pay option, load username, the second one, passwords. And since we all, we have done all we need to do for the simple attack, go ahead and click start attack button. A warning about rate limiting burps will appear. Click OK start. Okay. And since it will take a few minutes to complete. All right, let's attack this. While I was running, click. All right. Now it says once the attack completed, we present the window results. Set hundred requests. How we know which one's valid? So successful route logins will give us two hundred. A fail will give us four one. In many cases, we are getting three hundred two, which we are 
here. So the next common solution is to use length uh, to differentiate. For example, successful may response in 400 bytes or unsuccessful may yield response. Once we have a sort of results, one request should stand out being different. All right, I think spot be done. And there you go. Oops, where is it? So that's mine. M Rivera let me in. So I'm gonna put this on the clipboard actually, just to remember. M dot. So yours might look different. Let me in, and this is request 50. It says right here, these are selected randomly from a list at machine boot and will be different every time you deploy a new instance of machine. Well done, you have successfully brute force the support login page with credential stuffing and tab complete. All right, task 11. All right, in the previous task, we're trying to gain the system, okay. All right. So, go proxy, disable the intercept. And I believe is, is it M dot Rivera? Let me in 10. Okay, never mind. Look on that one. So. M Rivera, let me M1, okay. Let me M1, okay. Save, so we're in. Now let's see which attack type is best suited for this task. You have a single position to fuzz, so that's sniper, right? So we have a number, so let's talk about this. Okay, so it doesn't mean. Configure an appropriate position in payload. The tickets are store value one to 100. You should find at least five tickets. You will need one position. Your payload should be less than numbers between one and hundred, look at the numbers payload for this time. Okay. All right, let's uh, try this. Uh, key memory, so turn it on. We're gonna click this. Okay. Send to intruder, sniper, okay, payload sources, that I think is numbers, right? One. 100, one. Okay. Okay, so 
Configure payload. Take as a store. You should find at least five tickets. Okay, so fuzz the number. So I believe it's. Uh, okay. All right, so payload count, request count. This should look right. And it says, shall at least five tickets return with the status codes indicating they do exist. All right, complete. All right. Oh, that's loading. I'm doing my protein shake. Hey guys, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I'm trying to upload videos at least twice a week. I was trying to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but usually is there Monday, Friday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday and Wednesday if I have time. And just let you know, guys, um, I do not have IT experience. This is something I like to do. Um, I am trying to pivot my career and right now I do have active certification. This is recognized by my work. Uh, I have a plus CYSA plus network plus pen test plus and security plus. And I will do a video to show you guys how I pass these tests within one or two months of, um, uh, span of time to study. Uh, other than that, okay, looks like there's five, one, two, three, four, all right, all right guys, start from the end, let's try, all right, let's turn this off, so turn off the proxy, and let's try a three. Oh, there you go, guys. So it says either using the respond tab and the tab result by looking at each successful 200 code request manually in the browser, find the ticket contains a flag. What is the flag? And that was the first one. So it's random, guys. So every time when you restart it, it's different. That's it. Let's see, task 12. It, this is an extra challenge. Let's see, burp sweep. I mean, let's try it. Let's see, let's catch. All right, copy. Oops. Copy. There we go. Oops. Paste and go. All right. Let's turn it on. And all right. Intercept. Have that. Perfect. HTT, blah, 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 post. Okay. Enter, let's talk about macros, navigate, activate and attempt to log in. Okay, let's try logging. Let's turn it off. What are you using? Attacker and test. Okay, let's try again. Attacker test. Okay. All right. Uh, on intercept. There you go. Configured position the same way. So let's intruder. 
and set it to pitchfork. And let's add these. I'm just going to call them double S's because I have no idea what they usually call them. This is now switch over to payload sub tab and load the same username. So payload. And it's talking about loading that to up until this point I've configured intruder in almost the same way as with previous credential stuffing attack. This is where this things start getting more complicated. Okay. All right. There are a lot of steps here, and I believe I do not have the same. So switch over to project options, then session sub tab. There's extension, organizer, logger. All right, guys, I do not have the same thing. See, after extender, I actually don't even have. See, logger, extender, and project options. So this must be a newer um, burp edition. So what you can do is just follow along. I'm just gonna skip all this. since it's just following the steps but it is nice to uh, follow along so I'm going to skip task 11 I mean task 12 and what's the task 13 conclusion and it says I can use intruder so basically you basically know how to use the basic functions of intruder and this bonus question, optional use intruder to automate column enumeration of the union SQLI and the repeater extra mile exercise. What's this? Which I already have done already. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, once you finish, you'll uh, share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, as I already shared on LinkedIn. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video is helpful. And see you on the next video. Peace.